couple of kilometers to the west of Marwald, come to this place here, Park Kraj Brazov Vzguz Delevskich. The Delevskich Hills um, nature or countryside park. And the reason I'm filming this here is because I want to show you this rather nice parking area that I've come across. So that is in an easterly direction. So that's the next town is Marvoud, which is a very curious village with an old church. And uh, here you can see in there, I found a place for my van. It's not on park for night, but I'll have to put it on myself. Now, what uh, is interesting about something like this, I think this is a particularly interesting countryside. Now, the, um, the, the hills I just mentioned go to a height of 310 meters. That mightn't sound like much, but uh, for this area, it's quite a lot. At De Levo, which is about seven kilometers from here, there is a, the former uh, pro uh, pro uh, property of a Junkers family, you know, the, uh, the landed aristocracy of this region. And in the 19th century, uh, the owners who were very wealthy, but not from being Junkers, they were wealthy from being um, in business, and they uh, built a very interesting park. And uh, so that's something uh, which I think is very much worth seeing. It, for those who can speak Polish, there's a site called Mazurski Tajemnica, and uh, on that there's a very good um, video on the park there explaining all the secret features of it. Looking down the road here, the former border between East and West, sorry, between East Prussia and Poland is very close. And uh, in 1920, after the First World War, large parts of East Prussia, uh, particularly in this area, uh, were uh, given over to a plebiscite. And the plebiscite, people ask if they want to become part of Poland or part of East Prussia and in almost everywhere the vote was for East Prussia but a couple of villages down here where the majority was for Poland so they were ceded to Poland and uh, beyond that there is what's called the corridor the Polish corridor which led to Gdansk and the sea, the Baltic Sea, Gdynia, and that uh, was ceded to Poland without a plebiscite. Now, for those uh, thinking of stopping the night here, we've got a lorry coming past right now, but this is, I think, a not very frequented route. I think. So it seems to me to be the sort of place uh, that would be a good place to spend the night. But one thing, I do have to make this clear, it's a forest. Okay, now it's just, it's been very wet now. The reason it's been very wet now, uh, okay, in the summer gets hot and then uh, there's torrential rain in this part of the world. And as you can see, that was, was, really was torrential rain yesterday and it'll probably be it again today, I feel it. But that means mosquitoes. And uh, so you might want to get some lavender or something like that to sort of frighten the mosquitoes off in your van. So this, I think, is a great place to stop, get the bikes out and do some cycling. And as you can see, okay, it's June, it's the, it's, the, it's the season for travel, but there's um, not many people on the road. 
Right, another feature of this is these funny houses here. It says there that there's a uh, toilet, but um, I haven't seen it. Picnic tables, rubbish bin which is full, so I'm not going to film it. And here's my van. Great, so uh, if you found that interesting, I um, hope you'll think about subscribing if you haven't already done so. Uh, thanks for being here and watching, and I'll show more uh, places to stop during this journey. Thanks, bye.